Hey guys, what's up? So we've got a new card that's coming out of the collection pack, and this is called High Rate Draw. Um, this is a card which supports um, Aporia's Machine Emperors, um, and it's called High Rate Draw. It's a normal trap card, and it says you can use the second effect with this card's name only once per turn. The first effect is destroy two or more monsters you control. And if you do, draw one card for every two destroyed that way. And second effect is, during your opponent's main phase, if this card is in your graveyard, you can target one monster you control, uh, destroy that monster, and if you do, set this card to your field, but banish this card when it leaves the field. Okay, for Aporia, this acts as his um, drawing card. Um, most of his archetype um, works as... Um, Destruction effects, so to bring out the original Machine Emperors, I'm talking about Skeel, Weisel, and... I can't remember the other one as of now. Ah, now I remember it. It's um, called Grinnell. Um, if, uh, they're basically level 1 monsters. Um, if, you, um, if one of your monsters is uh, destroyed by a card effect, um, it lets you special summon um, one of those Machine Emperors. Um, the problem with that is often your opponent would kind of know this. Um, if they could identify what you were running, they would try and remove your uh, cards either by banishing them, um, returning them to the deck, returning them to the hand. Uh, any or or the best effects in the game are sending cards somewhere because it means that they're not destroyed and they can't often trigger effects. Um, because of this, um, you would have to run cards that would kind of self-destruct, uh, which might mean that you go uh, minus. There were a couple of cards in the um, archetype which um, gave you a benefit as well, but you still ended up with a bit of a minus. There was like Mech Lord Blast, uh, which uh, destroyed your monster and destroyed an, uh, another monster as well. Um, but this gives you more consistent uh, destruction. Uh, the trouble I have with this is it requires you to destroy um, two or more mon or more monsters you control. Therefore, you don't really have a choice. If you don't have two monsters on your field, you can't use this. Um, it can be limiting in certain uh, circumstances. If you're closer to the end of the duel, you're kind of on the back foot there, and you just don't have the mon monsters to kind of sustain for this effect. Uh, drawing into this card is not going to help you um, as of that situation. Um, it also requiring you to destroy um, two monsters just to draw a card is obviously um, going to be minusing you quite a bit, even though you're triggering the, f the effects of the um, uh, mech lords uh, to bring them to the field. Um, you're still really going minus. Even if you have a full field maximum, you can draw us three cards. Um, it would have been more effective if it had been uh, to draw a card for each um, mech, uh, for each monster that you've destroyed. Um, however, we didn't get that kind of effect. Um, I'm not sure how or where this card is going to be actually that useful outside of the archetype, so um, that's potentially um, a good thing, um, because then it can't be too generic and too splashable. The second effect um, is a reset effect, uh, similar to something like Lost Wind, or um, most cards, trap cards, have like a double utility now. Um, for example, you've got a Breakthrough Skill, which can activate again in the graveyard, um, but this just resets itself, so you can reactivate it. And then obviously uh, it banishes itself, so you can't keep abusing the effect. Uh, my concern just generally with this card is it's far too slow. It doesn't serve enough of a purpose. There are enough destruction card effects that you can gain some kind of advantage off of now um, to be able to just, you know, run those above this. Uh, there are so many better drawing cards that, you know, well, mech lords don't use their extra deck. Um, it's so, if you were to run, like, Plot of extravagance. Um, it's not going to be a big issue for you to banish a few cards from the extra deck to uh, draw cards. That in itself is much better than this. 
Um, what do you guys think of this card? Um, can you see this being played in anything? Um, are you happy with the kind of design of the card, or do you think it needs to have been made a bit more powerful? Um, leave your comments down below, like the video if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe.